For a year and a half, every time I would try to take a plane, I would get my boarding pass, and it would have a quadruple S high security threat mark on it. And they would take me out of the line and do that whole extra security check thing. And I kept asking, what's up with this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And finally, this nice young TSA agent said, oh, you're on the list. <laughs> and I'm like, the list? I'm on the list? How was Nazi Germany able to round up so many Jews so quickly? Because they had mechanized the list. Again, how did Pinochet manage to round up mass arrests? Mass arrests are always a hallmark of a closing society. Thousands, tens of thousands of people in a notorious soccer stadium. The list. Every closing society keeps a list. So I researched it, <clears throat> and it turns out that I was in very good company. As of July of 2008, there are over 1 million Americans on the watch list. 20,000 names get added each month. 1 million entries. Now, there can't possibly be a million terrorists in the United States. We know, for example, there are lots of famous people on that list, don't belong in there, Senator Edward Kennedy, Nelson Mandela, peace activists, nuns, lots of people on the list. David Antoon, highly decorated Vietnam War veteran, served his country bravely, criticized the Iraq War. I mean, you can take WMDs and the Gulf of Tonkin, and you can see the manipulation of, of information to bring the American public into accepting and approving of a, of a war that really had no basis. So I started writing about that. It wasn't long thereafter, I noticed that every time I would purchase a ticket and board a flight, I would uh, receive boarding passes with four S's on them. Every time I travel, every time my children travel, every time my wife travels, um, every time my 86-year-old mother travels, they're all on the watch list. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's an inconvenience, but it's insulting. And so when you want to close down an open society, you keep everyone under surveillance so that people increasingly become too frightened to stand up and speak. The secret room at AT&T contains gear which enables the government to look at every individual message on the Internet and analyze exactly what people are doing. Here's another document. It mentions a company called Naris. Naris makes computer software that can swallow and analyze 10 gigabytes of information every second. That means it could go through all the information in all the books in the Library of Congress in a little over 15 minutes. The documents Klein and others were able to produce were then censored by the NSA. Bankston isn't allowed to talk about the documents in detail. The government has since had them sealed. But he says what is in there boggles the mind. We are talking about a substantial portion of all the communications traffic in the United States. The policies have been shielded by the Obama administration and continue to this day. Attorney General Holder has publicly stated lawsuits be thrown out of court. And after several attempts, Klein and other cases were thrown out as well. Once again, citing the national security of what used to be a constitutional republic, not a mass